A man who served as the director of one of Kentucky's most popular music attractions went before a judge earlier today. Robert Lawson admitted to stealing money during his time as the head of the Kentucky Music Hall of Fame. But it appears he will not be spending any more time in jail. WKYT's Mark Barber is in Rockcastle County with more. Robert Lawson will be out of jail and on probation in four months because he is getting credit for time served. Since this is the first time that he has pleaded guilty to serious criminal charges, the Commonwealth's attorney has agreed to let him start a program that gives him a shot at getting his charges dropped and avoiding jail time. If Lawson can meet the terms of his three year diversion, his felony theft charges will be wiped off his record. If that's going to happen, he has to pay back nearly $30,000 to the organizations that he stole from. As the former director of the Kentucky Music Hall of Fame, Lawson was supposed to use his position to promote music. Instead, he padded his own pockets by stealing from three organizations in Rock Hassel County. He was caught last year siphoning money away from the Kentucky Music Hall of Fame, as well as the Cystic Fibrosis Organization and the Rock Hassel County Tourism Task Force. Bentley Cromer, a board member with the historic and well known Music Hall of Fame, says Lawson's sentence does not seem like much. He thinks there was only so much the courts could do. It bothers me, and, and even though I think, you know, if he does restitution and, and does his time, I, you know, I think that's as much as we could have expected. While Lawson will be here in the Rock Castle County Detention Center the next four months, he will be allowed to leave the jail to work at a factory in Berea. The money he makes will go back to the organizations that he stole from. In Mount Vernon, Mark Barber, WKYT. If Lawson does not complete his diversion requirements successfully, he'll have to spend five years in jail on his charges of theft by deception.